Fantastic, fantastic. Lovely to see you. Great right honour to have you in the studio. You're um you're over here with a a new tour, what a tour, but you've only got a couple of dates left. Right, right. we got the Royal Festival Hall tonight and uh, tomorrow night in uh, Belfast. Belfast. And this is I read an, an article with you or an interview with you in the papers on Friday. This is because you were just getting bored in America, just doing concerts in one in one place all yeah, the time. You wanted to get out. There's a place called Branson, Missouri. I had a theater called the Glen Campbell Good Time Theater. Oh. We had eight dancers. We did a production show. Mm. Yeah. It was like it was you know. 12 shows a week. I said, boy, howdy, this is like getting up and getting the cows in and milking them. Groundhog Day. Yeah, it was yeah. Gross, exactly. Every yeah. day was. Yeah. Yeah. So you're here. How long are you here for now? Uh, we've been over, we've been here for 22 days and all. Okay. Now tell us about the songwriter that you most admire, the guy who wrote Wichita Lion Man. Oh, yeah, okay. Jimmy Webb. He's, he's just incredible. He's got a new one. Uh, uh, here in London, where the rain is falling down. I got to record it though. Yeah. Because it mentions London, Paris, Rome, you know. Because yeah. he's got, he had this fantastic ability, which you then translated in the way that you sang the songs. Like, you know, Wichita Lion Man. This, what, what's the line? And I, you sang it there. And I need, need you, you more, more than, than want you. you. Yeah. And I want you for all time. For all time. Hmm. Great, great stuff. Thank you. You've always been, uh, since you were a very, very small child, you, you've always had a, a, a sort of musical bone running through you, haven't you? Yeah, it's, 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 in the, it's in the Campbell plan. My grandpa Campbell played and sang, my dad played and sang the guitar, Uncle Boo, he taught me uh, the basic stuff that mm -hmm. I know on the guitar. And it's... When you were about five, you could, uh, you could pick out a tune. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. And that, this and the mandolin, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I let that go the way. Yeah. Well, we, would you play a couple of things for us? I'd love to. Oh, I'll, I'll do that, okay. Yeah. Yeah. By the time I get to Phoenix, She'll be rising. This is Jimmy Webb's song. Yeah. She'll find the note I left hanging on her door. And she'll cry just to think I'd really leave her. Though time and time I tried to tell her so. She just didn't know I would really go. Do you have this? Well, I can just ask about the time I get because I'll see tremendously strong sort of image of a song and anybody who's heard it and um, we sort of only really discovered the west coast of america about two or three years ago where where were you metaphorically when you where was she rather metaphorically when you metaphorically with phoenix oh she was in the jimmy webb wrote it about the love of his life he wrote right. he wrote wichita lineman he wrote phoenix he wrote galveston he wrote MacArthur park and the first of the love affair was wouldn't you like to ride in my beautiful that was the first of it. Then yeah. So it was all day, about one relationship? It was all about one relationship. And he finally left her? Yeah. And he lived in Oklahoma. That's why he wrote oh, Phoenix. He drove to Phoenix. He drove to Albuquerque. They're all songs about longing, aren't they? Yeah, longing for home, longing yeah. for a lost love. Yeah. And I, I love those kinds. It yeah, makes so it, do I. Yeah. It's a tear in your eye, you know. What about... What, what, what's it like? This is what I was asking this now. When you're sort of omnipresent as a singer, in other words, you can get into a lift anywhere in the world, certainly in the Western world, and there's a chance you'll hear a song that you've recorded. You know, I, or you'll be walking through a bar and you're on the jukebox. You know, yeah. I mean, most of those songs you've sung are on every jukebox in every pub in every country in the Western world. It must be strange. But it's, it's. I, I like it. I'm like Paul McCartney. I, I like it. To, I like it to be on music. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you did it. Yeah. But do you, But when you hear those original recordings as opposed to the stuff that you've done more recently. Do you remember exactly how you felt as a young man doing those? I mean, does, oh, it, yeah. does it bring it all back to you every time? Oh, yeah. Definitely. It yeah. does. It strikes. Songs, it, it strikes a little chord in your soul, especially ballads, uh, yeah. you mm. know. And even Rhinestone Cowboy is an up-tempo song. That struck a chord with me because there had I was going through a rough period in my life at that time right. with the marriage. And it struck a chord about there will be a load of compromising on the road to my horizon. The second right. verse really slapped me when it said, uh, there's been a load of compromising, and then there'll be a load of compromising. Yeah. 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 Just, You're very, very happily married now and have been for oh, years. Oh, yeah. I said, if I'd have married my present wife, I would have been married once. She's a, she's a jewel. Yeah. Well, what, so what went wrong first time around? Just the wrong person? Yeah. The, you know, that... Uh, Didn't click. Well, my, God rest her soul, she passed on, but she said, she come in and said, are you going to release that stupid cowboy song as a single? <laughs> and I said, oh, no, you know, there's something wrong with this. There's <laughs> something wrong with this relationship. Yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah, she got a good ear, but it hadn't got a hole in it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, as you say, well, God rest her soul. Oh, we yeah. sort of, we, we did a straw poll around the office last week as to what song above all others, would they like you to sing for us today? And guess what was the answer, guys? Ryan Stone. Oh, and okay, they're all... so we have holes in our ears. We have holes in our ears. Great. I know if you sing this... Got, do it with me on the course, okay? I've been walking these streets so long Singing some good old songs Why, I know every crack In the dirty sidewalks of Broadway We're hustled the name of the game 
skies get washed away like the snow and the rain. There'll be a load of compromising on any road to your horizons. But I'm gonna be where the light is shining on me. You ready, gang? Like a rhinestone cowboy. Like a rhinestone cowboy and cowgirls. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I'm correct. Very politically correct. That was fab. Very fab. Thank That's you. So much That's for being really here. That's really nice. So you, and you've just got two more dates left? So yeah, two more dates. Two more dates, London and Belfast. And I'm back to you live in Phoenix now, actually, in yes, Phoenix. Yes, I actually live That's in Phoenix That's strange. That's right. strange. Fantastic yeah. place, I think. Yeah, it really is. Liverpool was so exciting this time because, I guess, of the football. And I ah. really, really didn't know that they had adopted You'll Never Walk Alone. Didn't you? No. Somebody said, do, you'll never walk alone here. And I said, why? They said, well, mm. people kind of like it in this town. It was kind oh, of a surprise yeah. to me. And, I said, I'm but he, and they did, I said, walk on, walk on with hope in your heart. And they were like standing oh, no. and going like this. And I said, and you'll never That, a lot. that was great. Thanks a lot. Good Thank luck with the time. Thank great you, guys. I've really enjoyed your show because oh, I've watched it in several different places. It's oh, wonderful. That's nice. Thank that's you nice very much. Good. That's really nice. Thank you. We quite like you too. Right. <laughs> <next>. <laughs> a lot.